today we had a great morning in the petitions committee. Um, we voted on an opinion for the International Trade Committee who will be voting um, at the end of May. And our opinion basically focuses on the way that the public have raised their concerns about ISDS. So um, and ISDS and transparency and TTIP in general. The opinion and so to give you an idea of some of the amendments that I think we'll be putting in um, I think it's uh, I know that our remit is to cover um, the petitions that we're receiving but a large number of the petitions have covered investor state dispute settlement and um, we I don't think we can ignore the fact that because of the public concern around investor state dispute settlement the Commission launched a public consultation and that that public consultation has run um, over the same period of some, as some of these uh, petitions have, have been submitted. Um, so that, I feel that that has to be mentioned in the opinion. And, and I think there should also be a reflection on the results of that consultation, which were 97% of respondents to the biggest consultation the Commission's ever had on trade questions. 150,000 responses were completely negative on ISDS. I think we... The Petitions Committee, as a voice of European citizens in the European Parliament, has a crucial role to play there. Uh, so transparency, ISDS, and then ensuring uh, the, the public's concerns around um, European standards are maintained. That's what we did this morning. That's what we were asked to do uh, by um, the hundreds of petitions that we received, the thousands of people who've sent in emails and comments um, to MEPs. Um, and we're trying to ensure that those voices from European citizens are heard as actively as possible in the European Parliament.